Hey guys, so I have been absent. <laughs> um, where do I even start? So anyway, first off, today's video we're going to do summer makeup and kind of how I've simplified my makeup routine because I'm really not wearing a lot of makeup as of late. For the most part, you guys know I still, I work full time in the medical field so I don't really wear much makeup to work. Um, and I work with surgeons and we're doing biopsies all day and we're doing different procedures so I, I don't wear anything too much on my face and by the end of the day it's all gone, it's all melted off. So I, I really don't care. <laughs> um, working full time now has completely changed everything. Um, and then I, you know, the kids, like trying to balance all of it is insane. And I've also for like the last, I'd say maybe like two to three weeks, maybe even month. Like, I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know if it's just like what it is. I'm going to just start and talk at the same time because if not, we'll be here all day. I don't know if I've been depressed or just anxious or what. I don't know. I just um, I haven't felt in the mood to post anything, to just... I kind of got sick of everything. Like, but I mean like everything that I do. Like work, the house, the kids. I just wanted to be left alone. And I felt like everywhere and any way I turned, I always had something to do or I just maybe, I think I've just been really overwhelmed and I got a lot going on <laughs> and I'm trying to do like 50 million things at once. So I've been really quiet and that's why I've kind of like been absent ever since I came back from Berlin. I've been really bloated. I've just haven't been feeling myself. I haven't been sleeping well. Yeah, that's, that's where I've been, but I sat down and I was watching my videos and so I've been working on something for, oh, it's a, it, that, I'm telling you it's a lot. Um, so hold on, hold that up. Moisturizer. I'm going to use this Sunday Riley CEO. I'm kind of on the hunt for a new moisturizer. I'm not, what did I just finish going through? I used the La Mer moisturizer and you guys know I love that stuff and I'm almost done with like my third tub of it and I mix it with an oil but it's starting to get hot as you can tell. I'm looking for something light but that's still going to give me that glow and that dewiness. Uh, this is, this is, this will suffice and it's doing the job so it's the Sunday Riley CEO cream that's in the pot. So I just kind of like to warm it up between my fingers. I use Bioderma to get, um, just to clean my face. But anyway, um, another reason why I've been super like quiet is I'm working on something really big. And big in the sense of it's going to take a lot keep getting notifications, I'm sorry. Um, it's gonna take a lot of my time. I mean, it already has, but it's been three months now that I've been working on it. And I have a reel on my Instagram page. It's called, it's called Project O. And I'll put sneak peeks up on that and you guys can take a look on there. But I've been working on it really hard um, and I'm exhausted and with work and the kids on top of that. That's also taken up a lot of my time. So as I have more details and things to show you, I promise I will let you guys know what it is that I have been working on. Just know that it's gonna be great and I'm excited about it and it's gonna be my little baby. I'm really happy to share with you guys. I'm just putting on a little bit of uh, Glossier Super Bounce the supers are now in one mil bottles, you guys. So if you're interested in them, uh, they used to be in a maybe like half this size. Um, I think they were 15 mLs. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that, but 
Um, I'm using Super Bounce, which just has hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of their bubble wrap eye cream, which I'm a huge fan of. I don't use it on my lips though. I will tell you that much. I don't like this texture on my lips. It just feels any type of like cream on the lips has never sat well with me. And I don't know, let me know if it works for you guys, but I do not like the way it feels on my lips. It just makes them feel gritty and to me it makes them even worse. Like, ugh, I don't like it. So <laughs> I don't use it on my lips, but under eyes, yes. Um, it doesn't do anything for dark circles, but it is very moisturizing. So it now foundation i have like i don't use foundation anymore i just wear concealer in places that i feel that i need it if i can skip concealer altogether i will but your girl has been breaking out in like i have never had such bad acne issues until now and i don't know if it's because like i hit 30 and shit went out the door like i even have it on my back and i've never had that issue before um, I haven't changed anything in my diet, um, but again, you're, uh, I had a scare where I felt a lump in my breasts and I had to go get an ultrasound, I had to go see surgical oncology because I've never felt anything like that and I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm bony as it is. Yeah, it was, it was pretty scary and I felt it and it was huge and it was painful and after 30 you get have just dense breast tissue and that's normal is what I was told and it just it's scary so now every time I'm on my menstrual cycle I get that lump and that pain and it's happened every like this is the second time it's happened but it's scary as shit and I'm like what the hell is my <laughs> like I'm telling you I I, I don't know but anyway so I'm all moisturized. I'm gonna be here just talking all day. A little bit of like, how did I get on that? Oh yeah, uh, body changes. So acne. I've been, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation because I've just had spots that I have to get rid of. So I only like to conceal on my problem areas. I like to leave the rest of my skin Bare. I just don't like foundation anymore. I don't care for it. Um, I don't mind if some spots show through or have your pigmentation shows through. It really doesn't bother me. I usually faux freckle and if I'm having like a really spotty day and that'll kind of hide it <laughs> in my head. So I picked up three shades of this Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealer. And I got this because Katie Jane Hughes raved about it and I would buy anything that woman tells me to buy. So I found if I invest in concealer, I do not need foundation. I also have two shades of the Clé de Peau if I'm having like an angry spot, which has been the issue, like cystic acne, really painful hormonal acne. Again, I'm, I don't know what I'm going through, so I think um, a lot of it has to do with just anxiety, I'm not, I'm not really sleeping all too well. So I'm just trying to find a happy balance. But anyway, honey and ochre. Ochre I tend to use under my eyes if I'm having really dark circles. Um, and then honey is more of my skin tone, so I'll use this on an angry blemish or a really dark spot that I can't cover and I wanna cover it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and with, so I have three shades of the Ultra HD. I have 32, 33, and 34 because I like to mix them all. 32 is super light, but I like to use that underneath my eyes and I only put it here, which is where I'm the darkest. And again, I don't really need to cover all of the darkness up. I like a little bit of shadow underneath my eye. I'm going to take 33. And I have some spots here and here. I 
have a spot in my eyebrow. Like who, who gets that? Spots there. Super painful. Not fun. Around my nose because I'm always red or dark there. And then around my mouth just because it looks weird if I don't conceal around my mouth. So I have this Morphe brush. I've never used Morphe brushes before, but I was in Ulta. I forget what I was picking up. I can't remember. But I saw these brushes. This is like a little tiny buffing, dome buffing brush thing. So I like to really push the concealer in and then buff around it. Sometimes I'll use a beauty blender. Sometimes I'll just use my finger. And again, I want it to look like skin, so I'll just buff it in and push it in. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that coverage. Um, I think some stuff is showing through, but I really don't, like I don't care. Just use concealer, that's it guys. I'm not really into foundations or even tinted moisturizers anymore. Like I don't, I don't reach for them. It's just a lot faster and easier to conceal. Something I have been reaching for recently, which I had stopped using for a little bit, was my Hourglass Dim um, Lighting Powder in dim light. And I just do my nose, and this is just because it's summertime. Um, also, my face is a lot dewier than normal, and um, I have switched something else up, so I'll tell you that in a second. So I just go in and powder my T-zone, a little bit here on my forehead, right underneath the eyes here, around the nose, and any places where I just spend time concealing. I have skipped blush, which is like shocker, I know. I don't really need it. I find I'm a really big fan of bronzer. I mean, I, let me, I scratch that. So I'll use bronzer on a day-to-day -day basis. I really don't reach for blush, but if I'm looking super pale or if I need a little bit of something, I'll dab maybe like my lipstick or uh, a little bit of a blush on the apples of my cheeks but it's really just here and here and that's it but I've really been liking bronzer all around I brush it up a little bit higher on my actual cheekbone so this kind of acts as a blush kind of thing but it, it's just more natural to me um, I just like the look of it so I have been using this Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in one natural on this Laura Mercy. I barely use brushes anymore. Um, I just use these three brushes every day. But I brush it on the temples of, or on my forehead, not my temples. <laughs> um, and I do it really messily. And I use this brush because I like that it gives, like it kind of diffuses it a bit. But see already, like, I just enjoy it. I put some on my nose. I even take some here on the front of my face, like the apples of my cheeks, I guess, too. Highlighter always. I have been using the Noto Botanics Hydra Highlighter. And love this stuff. Really good alternative to the Chanel one that I showed you in the stick. This one's just, it gives you that wet sheen. Um, it's an organic makeup line. I love Noto so much. And they have it in a tiny stick, or they have it in this pot form. And it's like this pretty champagne color, but again, it's made out of like organic olive fruit oil. What else is in it? Sunflower seed oil, um, lavender. I want to highlight here. 
And on the tops of my cheeks, I'm going to take a little bit on my cupid's bow. Moving on to brows. So brows, I had changed my brow shape and I was doing more of like a straighter Korean brow. Enjoyed it, loved it, kind of over it. Um, so I have been letting my brows grow back out. But I mean, I naturally have thick, heavy brows anyway. I have been using Glossy's new Brow Flick, which is a, an actual ink pen, very similar to this Urban Decay one or the Ardell Stroker Brow. Um, it doesn't come out until this month. Actually, yeah, we're in June. So it comes out later on this month. I've been using it. I'm not sure if I can show it on camera. If and when I can, I will show you guys that better than this Urban Decay brow blade that I've been using. I enjoy how precise I can get a flick. I feel like the this one, this particular one, this Urban Decay one, um, the tip is just a lot more flimsy so I can't yeah like this brow like I feel like the bristles just go everywhere so it doesn't really retain its its shape um, and there isn't any resistance to it too so I have to be really really careful when when I when I draw little brow flicks with this one. I mean, it's still a good eyebrow pencil or pen. It has a pencil on the other end, which that I like. But I feel like sometimes it just dispenses way too much of the, the ink. So, oh, see? Now, as far as mascara, I can't even remember when was the last time I put some on. Maybe when I went to Berlin. I'll put it on if I'm going out at night. I lie. John's birthday. I did put some mascara on. I you get a lash lift, and that's what I have in currently. Um, it's starting to go away just a little bit because uh, I have some new growth coming in. But for the most part, I get a lash lift and tint. So they just tint them for me. And what the lash uh, lift does, it's kind of like a perm for your lashes. So it just keeps them curled and I don't have to worry about curling them every day um, or putting mascara on them. So I just like to let them do their own thing. I might brush them out because um, right now they're a little bit all over the place. As for lip color, I've been using Glossier's um, Generation G Lipstick in Leo. I really love the formula of this. I love that it's a little bit mattifying and sort of drying, or just the, the effect that it gives. So I'll put some on and kind of messily blot it in. Kind of like to go above like, my lip line. And blur that. I haven't really been wearing lipstick either, and if I do, it's this one by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Super 90s. This is one of her newer shades. I'll actually, maybe I'll take a little bit in the corners. So that's it for beauty routine. I mean, I really haven't incorporated anything new other than the concealers, the brow flick from Glossier, I really like. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I have, as you can see, a rack back here. We're going to talk some summer fashion staples and basics, and that'll be the next video that goes live. But for the most part, thank you so much for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next one.